to you the princess experience so i'm going to be hitting three cities in one week i'm going to be doing hair slates in all three cities quick weaves lace installs knotless braids i wanted to take y'all on this journey with me so that y'all can see inside the life of a traveling stylist and just inside of the life of a stylist period so y'all this journey was so amazing to me because you know i've been doing hair for a long time and i feel like i haven't really i, I feel like i haven't really taken it as serious as i should have and this journey has really opened my eyes to just a lot of a lot of my potential that I didn't realize that I had with this particular tour that I decided to do. It really inspired me. It really brought a lot of, you know, um, inspiration, motivation. I touched a lot of people. I met a lot of people. And it's something that I wanted to share with y'all. I wanted to bring y'all on this journey with me. I decided to hit three cities, Atlanta, Miami, and Pensacola. So the reason why I chose Atlanta, uh, Atlanta for me is home. Atlanta, Atlanta will always be home for me. I moved to Atlanta when I was 17 years old. Um, my mom, she had gotten a, um, a job opportunity there. We had the option to move either to Atlanta or Miami. And at the time, all my friends lived in Atlanta. They were moving there. We all planned on going to college together. And it was just such a good moment for me in my life. And I feel like, you know, I learned a lot. I grew a lot in Atlanta and I met so many people. So throughout my journey in Atlanta, I picked up doing hair, of course, and I had been doing hair since I was about 17, 16, 17. And I, I, I continued my journey in doing hair, uh, which was like braids was my specialty. Then I went into learning how to do sew-ins and things like that. And I was really, really motivated. I was really like ambitious about it i was really serious about it and you couldn't tell me nothing like this was my passion it always has been my passion i started booking clients to my house i even once worked in a salon there and i just kind of wanted to see what was the what was the best option for me since i'm i'm just just now getting into this field this career i'm wanting to take it serious i had a lot of support from like my mom my family um, my mom bought me my first salon chair she bought me like a, a one of those storage bins where I could put all my flat irons and stuff and you know she was kind enough to even let me do hair in her house and so I really appreciate her for that because I know that you know she believed in me it's something that she saw that I could really do I was talented at it I was skilled at it and it's something that I was really serious about and I'm talking about 17 18 you know 19 years old this is something that I was you know um just kind of getting into and just really taking off with it so Atlanta is kind of where it started and Atlanta is like home of like just call it's, it's a cultural place so you know everybody that wanted their hair done it kind of goes with the seasons like okay I want these braids I want my hair like this I want my hair like that and at the time there weren't many hairstylists so it wasn't much competition um but you know as time went on I realized like this industry is very competitive so I always had to make sure that I was like you know up on my my hair skill i feel like you know i built i built a good clientele i built a good decent clientele while i was there y'all see my crown y'all like my little crown on the side or should i put it over here i see <laughs> i'm gonna put it right here y'all see it right now y'all can't see it i put my crown over there <laughs> y'all gotta see my crown even though I ain't wearing it, you know, it's always, it's always with me. I was able to build a, a good, a good, decent clientele there. Girls that just wanted me to do their hair and love the way that I did their hair. And um, I just grew a love for helping girls feel good and confident about themselves. And I think that's what the princess experience is all about. It's not so much about just getting your hair done. It's really you know it's an experience you come you come to me because you know you you trust my skill you trust my work you trust that i'm going to give you um a good service and that's what i always stand on i always like the feeling of just the result of you know 
making a woman feel beautiful and making them feel confident about themselves and just seeing their reaction is just something that's so it, it means a lot it touches me in a different way that i don't think anybody will ever understand so atlanta atlanta helped me grow in so many ways i learned so much there um i was such a young girl doing this and you know it, it was a, it was a good start for my for my journey and i really appreciate all the people that i met all my supporters even if i go back right now you know there's still people there who want to get their hair done by me just because you know even if i don't i haven't done hair in a long time but they still know like you know leia princess is always giving a good vibe it's all it's, and that's why it's the princess experience because I'm always wanting to give a good experience. I'm always wanting to converse with my clients. You know, you sit in my chair, you're going you're gonna to feel good the moment you sit in my chair. You know, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to give you advice. We can gossip. Whatever you want to do, it's, it, hey, you sit in my chair, the whole, this whole appointment, this whole session is, is you. It's, it's, it's all about you. I always try to make it about my clients. I think that's what's most special about what I offer. And it, it's what makes me different from other hairstylists day one y'all we in atlanta we in the atl we in a town so my first client actually she was getting she was gonna end up canceling because originally i was supposed to be in a hair salon but then um it was so far away so she wanted to actually just end up coming to me so what ended up happening was uh my girl if y'all know yans her i ended up staying with yans in atlanta shout out to her because she's so her and her sister are just so amazing they let me just stay there and just kind of like do my thing and um her sister does lashes so we kind of created this little vibe in the house where she was doing lashes i was doing hair and then you got my boy cornelius aka zay so i called my boy cornelius to come through he came through with my homeboy keem and then we just created like a whole salon vibe. I'm talking about we had music. They was passing around the, the little, you know, you know, and we had drink. Even my client was like, oh my God. So it was this, this to me was an amazing moment because it not only was it like me networking with my friends and creating a, a, a business environment. I hadn't seen my friends in like three years. A lot of them I hadn't seen in like three years because a lot of them came through. So we had King Derry, got Yans, we had... Cornelius with his hair with his hair cutting. Um, Apollo came through. Trey came through. It was the gang was in the building. So it, it made me feel so good. And like, you know, they pass around shots to everybody while, we, while I'm doing hair. It was lit, y'all. It was so lit. And I, this moment for me was everything. Because I'm like, oh my God, I got all my friends talented as hell in the building. We all doing doing what we do best. I'm doing hair. My girl over here doing lashes, which is Yon's sister. My boy Cornelius over here doing his haircut thing with Keem. And I'm just like... This is everything to me. Oh my God. It was such a good, it was such an amazing moment, y'all. And I, it just opened up my vision even more to this hair business. Cause I'm like, this is something that I envisioned for my business. I can see us all in a salon working together and, you know, networking and bringing in clients and running specials and running. And I just saw so much potential in that moment. And it just, it touched me in, in the craziest way. I loved it so much. So we in there, we turning up, we having a good time while we doing hair. And y'all, y'all ever come to my salon? If I ever create a salon, which I am, so stay tuned. This is gonna be the vibes for real. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I put my people on first, because I'm always about helping out, you know, my people first. And drinks, you know, you can do a little whatever you want to do to get in your vibe. But I'm definitely gonna have like a like a full service salon where you get that type of experience. So, oh my god, this is so amazing. So I do my girl's Yan's hair. It came out so amazing. I did like a slick back ponytail on her. This was actually something that I was running during my tour. It was like one of the hair uh, options that you had during the tour. And so it, she came out, it looks so good on her. Like I love the slick back pony look. It was a braided ponytail. Um, and you know, my girl, she looked it good. She always looks amazing. So I definitely hooked up with the, with the big one. My boy came over there getting cut by Cornelius. He over there getting getting done up and one up. You know, I feel like his lineup was so perfect. Like, oh, it was just so good. He looked he looked good. So I got my girl. I got my girl Ari. Ari is like so much fun. I, I actually met her. Um, she's Yon's sister. And she's just so efficient with her work. Like I watched her work and I feel like she's just so she's so like specific you know she knows what she's doing she's very strategic with how she how she places her lashes and you know i just i want to make sure i put my girl 
in this project because I'm like, she's good at what she. I was almost when she did my lashes. Now shout out to my girl Allie because you know Allie does my lashes. But you know when I go to different cities, I do like to have people that I can go to in case I need that service. And Atlanta is definitely a place where I would go to get my lashes done from her. You know like. My girl is really good, so make sure y'all holla at her. I will put everybody's information in the description so y'all can, you know, make sure y'all holla at my people because they gonna hook you up. My first client, she's just so cool. I feel like we vibed off rip. She was a she was a really sweet girl. Um, she came to me after she had got off work. She was determined to come to me. Like she was like, I'm getting my hair done. She sent her deposit in. My girl wasn't playing. She's like, I'm gonna get my hair done. She did the blonde. I just love when my clients like step out with something bold and different because a lot of people are afraid to do different colors, different looks. Everybody, you know, likes to stick to the classic black or brown or, you know, they just kind of stick to what they're comfortable with. My girl popped out with the blonde, the 613, and you can never go wrong with a good blonde unit. So I made sure I hooked my girl up. She got the, um, like some kind of like beach curls with the braid, you know, and the lace was amazing. Whoever this brand was, it wasn't Princess Exchange. Y'all know I have my own hair company as well. Um, where I sell wigs. It wasn't the Princess Exchange, but she did a really good job picking out this unit because I feel like for blonde hair, sometimes you cannot find a good unit. And you know, she did good. She It, it was a good unit. It installed pretty well. The lace was well. And then also, cannot miss this detail. My girl Diamond, Black Diamond, the real Diamond Beats on Instagram. My girl came out with her own glue line, her own product line when it comes to slaying your lace down, getting that lace down, laid and slayed and melted in all the right ways and she actually sent me her glue her lace glue and it came in so clutch y'all it came in so perfect because it came in the day before i left and so i use this glue on all my clients hair so shout out to her i love the glue i use it on my own hair it does not lift y'all it's like it's there it, it is there and it's giving the girls it's it's just it's just giving shout out to her so if y'all looking for a good lace glue my girl's information will be in the description as well Period. So yes, I think her unit, her install came out amazing. She loved it. She had a good time also. She got a chance to sit in the princess's chair and have an experience with me. And you know, we got to know each other. She was a cool girl. I appreciate her for coming through because my friends, they crazy now. They crazy. They will be throwing, passing shots around, making jokes, acting a fool like they usually do. Trey, all of them just crazy, child. So, um, you know, she, she had a good time laughing at them and just... <laughs> Just being a part of the moment. So yeah, that was fun. So you guys, that's the end of that client. My third client was, I don't know if you guys remember the show uh, on True TV, I believe it was. It's called South Beach Toe. And on South Beach Toe, there were two, uh, there were two, there was like a couple on there. Wanda and uh, I think his name was Jay. They were like a couple on there. He he like drove like the tow truck or whatever. And she was like, I think she worked at the, uh, she worked at like the counter where they actually did the repos and stuff like that. I got my, I, I just bought my own, uh, we all got our own. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's cute. It's it, mine sit next to my side of the bed. His sit next to his side of the bed. Oh, wow. Y'all do it like this. And they then got hers, hers, her hookah, and my nephew got his own. Mm -hmm. Since my medical and she's tragic, mm -hmm. it was kind of balanced out. So whoever had an amputation, they could yeah. say, you know what? I want to tell my story. Right, right. Tell my story. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody gonna have a different story. So, yeah, so my girl came through. I've been knowing Wanda for some years now, since I lived in Miami, which has been uh, since what, 2000? I think I met Wanda in like 2012, 13. I, uh, I don't know, somewhere around that time, I met her and her husband, Anthony. Um, they're very, <laughs> they are an interesting couple. They're very fun. They're funny as hell. They're very entertaining. Um, I actually was in a play with them. Um, we did a, a play for human trafficking and I was one of the main characters and her husband was my handler and she was like the prison guard. And so um, we shared a, uh, we shared a, uh, a dressing room together. And so, like, from that moment, I just knew, like, okay, I'm locked in with these people. This is family for me. Like, they always just made me feel so welcomed in their, even in their home. They ended up moving to Atlanta later. And we relinked, reconnected. And, and from there, I mean, you know, I always like to keep up with my people. I just feel like it's, it's always good when you can still keep the same friends and connections going strong. And that's, I'm all about that. So they came through supporting me. She wanted me to do her hair. And um, yeah, shout out to Wanda. Shout out to Keisha. Her real name is Keisha. So, but y'all would know her as Wanda if y'all watched the show. 
um, amazing person, amazing personality. She's actually going to be coming out with a show on her on her own for amputees because she did get her leg amputated. So she's coming out with a show on her own for that. And I think that is so dope. So she shared that with me um, during our talk uh, when we sat down and I did her hair. So she shared that with me. She just shared, you know, her journey with me. If you guys are interested in checking her out, I will link her in the description below as well. But yeah, so Wanda's amazing. Love her. Keisha's amazing. Love her so much. Her husband is a goddamn fool. Anthony always makes us laugh. That thing is crazy, okay? You know, I'm not going to say it exactly like that. The Lord has come through and shown favor over your scalp. Leia took the things that were nothing and made something that is called a gift from God. Okay, he come through. He, 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 he lights up the day. He lights up the moment. And he out. Like... It's just crazy, but I love them. I always love them. They'll always be a part of, you know, my life. My, I feel like, like I said, I'm family. It's a family bond with them. Um, and I'm glad they moved out to ATL because now anytime I go, I know I can, you know, I can see my people. Hey, this your girl, Keisha Fumi, you known as Wanda from the reality show South Beach Toe. And I just got slayed by Princess Leia. You check out the hairstyle. Yeah, they said it took them back from the show, but not quite. Not quite. Yeah, he was a beautiful baby. <laughs> anyway, so y'all need y'all her slave. Make sure y'all check her out, okay? She is good with the hands and gifted with the scissors and the and all the other stuff that you do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. okay. And I'm about to get slayed by Princess Leia. So it's Pinky the Plug, and I got Pinky Cartel Cosmetics, the lashes, the beard oil, the lip gloss. You know what's going on. So y'all know. You cannot go to ATL without having a good turn up. You cannot, it just, you, you just can't do it. Yeah, I just, I can't see myself just going to Atlanta and not being able to just turn up and have a good time. I mean, my life in Atlanta was pretty much based off of turning up, having fun, um, going to the clubs. Cause you know, if you guys didn't know, I was an artist out there. Um, and I had a dance team out there. Like I was, I was really heavy in the, the nightlife and in the entertainment world when it came to Atlanta. That's why I just, I will always be um, grounded. I just feel like Atlanta is, is home always for me. I will always have a special place in my heart for Atlanta because it's like, it's helped me grow in so many ways. It has so, it, it, it just, it, it means so much to me. And so yeah, going there, me and my people, after we got done with our work, you know, next day, we turning up, we in the city. I think we hit, uh, we hit a club called Cert. So we had drinks, we had hookah, me and Yans turning up, having a good time, looking good, and I just love it here. This is just everything that I want when I come to Atlanta because I'm with my friends, I'm with my loves, and I'm just having a good time. I'm vibing. This is me. This is my element. Like, you cannot come here and just not not have a good time. Like, you just can't do it. So Atlanta was a success. Oh, my God. We had so much fun. I can't wait to go back. I will be going back after this because I got to go back to actually get my girls. And I have another client after this. So um, I will be returning back to Atlanta after I go to the next two cities. So y'all stay tuned. So we about to hit the littest city on the map. Oh my God. Y'all stay tuned for the next episode. I cannot wait. Y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys liked this episode. And it was lit. Make sure y'all comment below. Let me know what cities I should go to next. Like where should I go next? Because I love to travel. And y'all know this is something that I want everybody to be able to get get it get their hands on everybody need to get a chance to sit in my chair everybody need to get a part of the princess experience so what's up y'all make sure y'all comment below let me know what cities that i should hit next and we can set that up or if y'all want me to come back to your city i mean i can do that too so what's up